Welcome to this challenge called Hardware Quiz, where we're going to try to create a quiz in Python based on input, output and storage devices. So before we do so, we may want to recap as to what are input, output and storage devices. You've got a list here of all the types of peripherals we can plug into a computer and we tend to organize these in three categories. Input devices are used to retrieve data into the computer uh, and that's done mainly through the keyboard, the mouse, microphone and other types of sensors. Output devices to retrieve information from the computer to the end user, often done through the screen, but also the speaker, the printer, the headphones. And finally, we've got storage devices that can be used to store information and files and applications onto a storage device. Now let's now look at the coding challenge. And first we need to understand the rules of this quiz. The idea that we're going to work with is that the computer is going to randomly pick a peripheral from the input, output and storage devices. And it will then ask the user to guess whether the peripheral selected is either an input, a storage or an output device. And if the user guesses it right, they will score 10 points. And then the game will carry on until the user give a wrong answer and then it will stop. Okay, so we're now going to look at some of the code that we've got here. And as you can see, the code is already started for you. So I'm going to expand this into full screen view and I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay, perfect. So what we've got here is we've got on line five and six, two lists of input and output devices. And you can see how we store um, the values in the list using the square brackets here. And then on line nine, we are joining those two lists together to create a third list of all input and output devices together. We then use the random library to randomly pick one of the device from the all devices list and we output it on screen on line 13. So let's run this code. You can see that every time I run the code, a device, whether an input or an output device, will appear on screen. And every time I do so, a different device will come up. Okay, so what we're going to have to do here is create a third list to add storage devices, and then we're going to create the quiz element of the game. So first I'm going to go to line seven, and I'm going to create a third list called storage devices. And in here, using my square bracket, I'm going to put some storage devices. So hard drive, which is a magnetic hard drive, or HDD, um, SSD drive, which is a solid state drive. I'm going to put USB key. Uh, I'm going to put SD card. And I could put a few more here like CD drive, DVD drive and so on. For now, I'm just going to stick to those four here. Okay. Um, then I want to add those storage devices to my list of all devices. And that's fairly straightforward in Python. I can just use the plus sign and it's going to combine all those lists together. So plus storage devices. Perfect. Now at this stage, if I run my code, I should generate a random device, but this time, on occasions, I will have a storage device. Perfect. Okay. So I'm now going to work on the quiz uh, part of the game. Um, now that I've got my device, I'm going to ask a question. And to do so, I'm going to use an input. So I'm going to use input. What type of device is a and then I'm going to add the device itself, random device. So what type of device is, and then I'm going to remove line 14. So line 14 will now appear as a question and I'm going to store the user answer in a variable. And I'm going to call user answer. Okay, so let's try this code. What type of device is a hard drive? Perfect. Um, I'm going to add a question mark at the end. So I'm going to concatenate um, a question mark for my question. Perfect. 
Now the user will have to either answer input, output or storage. Um, and then we're going to check whether the user has the right answer. Okay, so let's try um, to see if the user answer is telling me that it's an input device. So they've typed input. And um, if the random device belongs to or is in the list of input devices. Now in Python, we can use the keyword in to check if a value, so whatever the random device picked by the computer, belongs to a list input devices. So if the random device is an input devices and the user actually um, guessed it right, in that case, we're going to print um, some feedback, correct answer. We're going to um, add some point to the score. So we're going to plus equal 10. So we're going to add 10 points to the score. Okay. Now, if not, uh, it doesn't mean the user is wrong. Uh, it could be, so I'm going to use another case, an elif. If the user actually said this was um, an output device and the random device belonged to or was in the output devices, then that's also a correct answer. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to print correct answer and I'm going to add 10 points. So I can just copy those two lines and paste them here. Oops, I need to be careful with my indentation. And there is a third possibility for the user to get it right is if um, the user believes it's a storage device and the random device belongs to the list of storage devices. Okay, these are the three ways for the user to get 10 points. For any other answer, then uh, the user will actually get it wrong. So we're going to give it uh, print an incorrect answer. And at this stage, the game will end. Now that we haven't done yet, we've only asked a single question at this stage. So we're going to have to work on this, but for now I'm just going to do this. So let's try and see if it works. Uh, what type of device is a hard drive? I believe it's a storage device. So I'm going to put storage and it's giving me a correct answer. If I run this code again, what type of device is a scanner? If I'm going to say that it's an input device, correct. And then I'm just going to try to get it wrong to see if it works. What type of device is a SD card? I'm going to say that it's an input, though I know it's not and it's telling me incorrect answer. So that's quite good. Now I want this game to carry on playing for as long as the user is giving the correct answer. Okay, so in that case, I want all of this code here from line 12 to repeat many times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that um, the game um, continues. So I'm going to have a variable called carry on equal true. And I'm going to say while carry on. Um, if you want to, you can put while carry on is equal true, if that makes more sense. Um, then I'm going to do all of this. So I need to indent all of the code uh, underneath because I want all of this to belong to my while loop. So I'm going to do it one line at a time. Perfect. Now, if the user is incorrect. In that case, I'm going to set carry on to false, which means um, that it will not loop anymore. So all of this should happen indefinitely for as long as the user is correct. As soon as the correct, the user gives the wrong answer, then carry on is false and we are exiting the while loop. At the end, I'm going to print game over. This will happen after the loop, so I've removed my indentation. And if I think about it, the one thing we haven't done yet is tell the user what is their final score. So before printing game over, I'm going to print the final score. And I'm going to do that outside of the loop, so it only happens once at the very end. Your total score 
is and I'm going to concatenate score. Now the score is an integer value, so I need to use str to make it a string. Perfect, and I believe that should work. So let's try. What type of device is a USB key? Let's get it right, storage. Correct answer, what type of device is a hard drive? That is also a storage device. What type of device is a keyboard? Input, and I'm going to get it wrong now. I'm going to say output. And it's telling me that my total score is 30 because I got three um, correct answers and then game over. And that's it, so that's my quiz fully done. Um, and by doing this quiz, I've learned how to use a list, how to join list together, how to randomly pick a value from a list. That's quite a useful uh, technique. And then I've used um, the keyword in to check if a value is inside a list. So quite a few techniques to do with using lists in Python. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's now your turn to create this game and um, to test it and to try it many times. Once you've done so, um, there is one more challenge for you to do. It's at the bottom of the blog post. It's called Coding Challenge Number 2, The Odd One Out. Now, the video will not tell you how to do this challenge. I'll let you read through the rules. It's going to be a little bit more complex to create, so it's an extension task. So you may want to have a go at it. Okay, perfect. Thanks for watching and good luck with your code.